Now the moment you've all been waiting for. Allahu Akbar. The first Palestinian American Muslim Congresswoman, our dear sister Rashida Tlaib. Thank you, Hassan. Thank you, thank you so much. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. You know, we always said the Muslims are coming. Well, guess what? I think we're here. We're not only everywhere in all kinds of different governments, but mashallah, wow, we're in the United States Congress. Thank you so much for inviting me to support a civil rights organization that is around the unified fight against hate and racism in our country. And Congressman Dingell was sitting there, and I said, oh my God, I'm so tired of this. I don't know how you've been doing it for so long, Congressman. They all lie. And he looks at me, and he goes, I said, you know who I'm talking about? Like these, these lobbyists, these special interests, they're all lying to me about this issue I was working on, scrap metal theft in my, in my district. And he looks at me, and this is a true story, Raja. It was great. He looks at me and he goes, young lady, there's a saying in India that if you stand still enough on the riverbanks, you will watch your enemies float by dead. I don't know why. You have to know. At that moment, I felt... And I can tell you my mother, who has a compassionate just heart. And this is the same woman that after Trump won, had the hijab on in a supermarket and somebody yelled at her and said, take it off. He won. He said, take it off. And she beautifully responded. You don't understand. Jesus was born in my country in Palestine. Mashallah, mashallah, very powerful words. You know, for the last two decades, members of Congress have attempted to pass laws that undermine the freedom of the American Muslim community and serve injustice, particularly to Palestinians. First, we had Andre, uh, Keith Ellison and Andre Carson, two brothers, and now we have two sisters that are joining. Wallahu Akbar, we're very excited about the f future.